Hey, what's up guys, BossX7 here with another Gnome 2 tutorial. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to make arms to lift sports. Now these are the kind of sports seen on tracks like Wildfire. And you can also use this tutorial to make uh, steel structure supports like on tracks like I-305 with the arc support. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right guys, so let's get started here. So I built this little arm seat right here just for this tutorial. And we're gonna be making a T-sport here in the middle, right under the lift and right over here where the drop is. So when you do this, make sure you have your coaster completely done. So I mean, finish it and have all the roll points the way you want them and everything. And then move on to the wooden support generator because you can't do them at the same time without having to edit the support separately. So let's go ahead and do that first. Make sure you have the track 100% done. And then we're gonna go on to display here. Make sure you uncheck vertices and uncheck roll points. Because at times when you're editing the supports, you can accidentally move a vertice and then you can't control Z out of it because it's been too long or whatever the reason. So make sure you uncheck those first. Let's go ahead and unfreeze the coaster. And now you see that we can't edit the coaster anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and start over here with the lift. So go ahead and move over to the track tab and add style separator. Now what this will do is it will limit the wide supports for, I mean, it will enable the wide supports for a certain section of the track. So we can make the, the T sections really nice and easy. So let's go ahead and add two here and add two under the lift here. I'll add them right about here. And we're gonna add two more over here. All right, so let's go to each segment here and click here and go to style settings. Let's go to wooden support generator on the bottom here under style settings. And let's go to individual settings and we can keep, I want the left catwalk enabled and turn on wide supports. All right, press okay, press okay. For this bottom section here, we're gonna want to go to style settings wooden support generator, individual settings, and turn these off. So turn off wide supports, leave whatever catwalk sides you want on. There we go, press OK. For this section up here, click go to style settings once again, go to wooden support generator, individual settings, let's go ahead and turn off right catwalks and disable wide supports. Remember we only want wide supports on the T section, so that's gonna be this section right here in between here. So for up here, same thing, let's double click on this one, individual settings, let's turn off right, and leave white on for this one. And click this one over here, style settings, individual. There we go, white sports enabled, perfect. All right, and for this last one here, same thing, style settings. And this one we're gonna want to have white sports. So individual settings and right, right, turn those off and white sports. All right, press okay. And so we should have no wide, wide, no wide, wide, no wide, and wide. So when we go to supports, wooden generator, now remember that we checked in the catwalks. So if you don't want to have catwalks along your whole track for your RMC coasters, uncheck catwalks in here and keep wide supports enabled. So we gave these ones individual settings. So this should automatically give us a T frame for these RMC supports when we generate it. So let's go to wooden generator. Let's go to generate final and let's do cathedral here. And you can change event spacing to whatever you want. I want to keep wide supports. Press OK. And you'll see the game had already generated these wide supports for our T-frame. And you can see over here, we need to widen this one up. You see how this is this one is only uh, one wood support wide. So we can widen that one up a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that now. We need to move this section here forward. And it looks like we can move this one back. So I'm actually going to move this one back up. There we go. All right, so I went ahead and adjust the separators here and cleared it. And let's generate it one more time. That's okay. All right. So it looks like I need to move this one forward just a little bit more because I want this too wide here. And I move this one forward just one more here. So let's go ahead and clear it one more time. And let's move this one forward and move this one forward. All right, so let's generate wooden generator here. Generate final, press okay. And there we go. So it looks like we're good here. Let's go to top view. I'm gonna go ahead and delete a few here in the front. So I'm gonna take out these two and delete there. And there we go. So we should have our support structure here. All right, so I'm gonna trim it up again. So I'm gonna trim up these two on the ends. I'm actually gonna trim up two of them and one on the corners over here. There we go, delete those. Now you see we have our frame here. Let's go to perspective and there we go. So now we need to trim the tops now. So let's go ahead and trim on this corner one, let's trim three for, for starters here. So take off three, try not to delete trees in the back. All right, take off three here. And let's go to this side and take off three here. 
on this side. There we go. And let's try to take off three on this one also. So delete three. And delete three. There we go. All right. So let's see if that looks good. All right. And let's go ahead and trim the back side here. So let's go ahead and take three off on this side. So three off the back. All right, so we trimmed it up. Now let's go ahead and freeze it and give it a test. All right, let's make sure it looks the way we want it to. Okay. That looks good. So I'm probably gonna trim up one more on this corner here. So I'll unfreeze here. And I'm gonna take off one more right about here. So take off one, one more layer here. There we go. All right, perfect. So now we have our frame here. We're gonna to want to delete the filler sections in the middle. So just highlight the middle parts. Make sure you do it precisely. So make sure you don't delete parts of these here because you're gonna to have to generate a whole new uh, set of wood here. So I'm actually gonna hide the, the scenery here so I don't delete it. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and we're gonna want the, the frame under the track here. So we're gonna measure it out to about right here. Should be fine. Actually, we can go back. So delete this section here and go ahead and delete, delete, delete. And we can delete all the way up to these catwalks here. So just on these corner ones, you don't want to delete these ones because these are our base nodes for the tower structure in the middle. So let's go ahead and delete these corners here. There we go. And we can go ahead and finish deleting the rest of this. All right, so for the top up here, you're gonna to want to leave a section of straight track to connect to this tower here. So we're gonna delete a little part of this. And I think I'm gonna want it, so if you draw it from here, it's gonna need to connect right about here. So I'm gonna control Z here, see if I can get that section back. So you want the section here. So let's see if I can connect there. All right, so we need to leave this piece here and delete here. So you just gotta kind of draw it out in your mind here. So I wanna draw all the way up here. It'll connect right here, draw across. And we can go and delete section in the middle. So I'm gonna go get rid of this now. There we go. And that looks about good. All right, so if this is too wide for you guys, you guys can always trim it up to one, uh, one space like this one down here. So it doesn't have to be too wide here. So let's go ahead and give it a freeze and see how it works. All right, so we're gonna leave it like that for now. And so we're gonna go to, now occasionally this won't work, sometimes it does, but sometimes you can hide the whole thing and change these ports. That sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't for me. I don't know why it doesn't work sometimes, it works other times. I think it's just because of the different sports, different sports styles in the middle, but I'm not sure. So if that works for you, it's it perfect, but if it doesn't, you have to delete each one of these supports and draw it in yourself. So just keep the support nodes, make sure you don't touch the support nodes, but just delete all the individual support sections and draw in all the I-beams for the actual supports. So we're gonna be drawing from this all the way up to the top. So let's go to support panel and let's go to a gray here. So a custom color, let's make it a gray. Let's go to I beam five by five. And yeah, it's fine, it's fine and it's perfect. So let me make sure this is on zero. Okay, so go to add beam here and draw from these bottom ones. You can skip all these. I can actually delete two more here, I missed two. There we go, let's delete that. All right, so let's go to add beam here. Draw from this bottom one all the way up to the top to where it meets up here. And same thing down here. There we go. All right, so for the middle here, if it doesn't meet all the way, which is obvious it's not going to. So to adjust this in the middle, however many you have, go ahead and grab the nodes that don't meet up and line them up. So if that looks fine, yep, that looks perfect. And let's go ahead and delete these beams that are already here in the middle. All right. Missed another one over here. Let's go ahead and delete that. Okay, so we have our section here. Now I'm actually gonna give this a shot, hide the whole thing, and hopefully it will change all the beams at once. Now that'll be perfect. If it doesn't, oh well. <laughs> so let's see here. Double click and it won't. All right, next up, we're gonna wanna draw from these beams down here. So I'll go ahead and draw from here all the way up to the top and connect to this top one up here. It's gonna be different for everyone, so just kinda work with me here. So there we go, and we connected those. And we should have four I-beams going all the way up to the top, as you can see. Connecting up here, going across, skipping a little bit in the middle, and going down the drop. All right, so we're gonna finish this off. Now, to, to finish off this section here, we're gonna go to beam node. Let's go to front view. 
And everywhere where you see a, a catwalk post, we're gonna go ahead and add a support node. So just draw down, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's always best if it is. So just get as close as you can. The thing I don't really like about the beam nodes is that you can't snap them to distance. So that gets kind of annoying, but um, just do your best here. So you even on this section here in the middle, go ahead and add the beam nodes. Everyone go ahead and do that for both sides for the rest of the track. All right, so back in perspective mode. So I've added all the beam nodes here. And we're gonna go ahead and add the beams up and down. So those are the six by six, by six uh, IH beams. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them from the beam nodes up. And I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, next step, we're gonna go ahead and add the cross beams on the sides. Let's go ahead and do that now. So we're gonna go ahead and draw across. All right, so once that's done, we should have this structure here. So let's go ahead and freeze it and see what it looks like. All right, so we should have this really awesome RMC lift support here. Now remember, you can change all of these to metal, like I said earlier. So go ahead and delete each support node here. I mean, each support beam and leave all the support nodes and just draw in the beams. I'll just do this one just for you guys for this tutorial, but same for these ones up here, do the exact same thing I'm doing for this one just now. All right, so I went ahead and deleted all of the uh, original wooden supports, and this already looks a little bit too congested, so I'll go ahead and delete, uh, delete a few more here. But you can see what to do. So go ahead and delete all the wooden supports and replace them with the steel ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix this. And for to finish off this middle support here, go ahead and just do a diagonal all the way up on the bottom section. All right, guys, you can see this came out really nice. Uh, you can see that uh, this is all steel. It got this nice steel structure here. It's pretty simple. Um, just remember, it, it might get a little bit tedious if you guys uh, are having trouble seeing the supports. You just have to be kind of experienced with supports in order to figure that out. But just take your time and just try not to delete the support nodes because once you delete the support nodes here, it's going to get kind of hard to put it back together. So just make sure you delete only these support beams and replace them with the steel structure. Then we can also add the steel up from up here and on these supports on the sides. And down here you can also change this to steel or just connect this directly into the ground. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's tutorial. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to like down below. And if you guys have any suggestions or questions for tutorials, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'll gladly check them out. And don't forget that this tutorial can also be used for instrument coasters to make these art supports that are used on coasters like I-305. And so use the same technique, just modify the, the uh, T-support in the middle here. And also for this tutorial, don't forget to change the back here with steel supports. So that's going to be it for today, guys. And if you guys like the video, please like once again and subscribe for more. Until you find your way back home.